Welcome back guys, I'm Yada666. Alright, we're gonna pick up wherever we left off. My dearest tank, huh? And we're just gonna see how far we get and where this is going, I have no idea. Ugh, I just all fired up today. I'm a fucking idiot client. I, I, uh, I know you're not supposed to think of clients this way, but hear me out before, I, before you defend the client that you don't know the story about. But I, I keep thinking about the arguments that I hear between actors and... Oh, you're devaluing the, uh, the whole voice acting industry, and it's like, I've never made the money that those people complain about, but I gotta agree with them. Because every time I run into a client like this who's like, I want 12 scripts done for this much, and they're below even the $5 threshold, I always tell them to go fuck themselves. Like, I don't say that, but I'm not doing it. Know your worth, guys. You are a service. And if you can make more, and this isn't a dig at McDonald's, but if you can make more working your McDonald's job, it's not a voice gig you need to be doing. I don't know why people give shitty advice. Oh, do it. If it's, if it's $5, do it. It'll help build your profile. That doesn't help you at all. Because all it does is wear you down, piss you off, and devalue everything because now that client expects that service so what's to say now they're like well then someone can do it for cheaper so now they're looking for someone to do what you just did for five bucks even cheaper so I gotta kind of agree with that shit have a set value and keep it I I'd say make it a little bit higher than what you make at your day job so you're making extra money you know what I mean but that's just my opinion I just want to have some fun and chill and see where this goes. Am I going ABC? I know you could use real things. New arrivals. I, didn't, I don't know why this is sharper. They didn't update this, did they? This seems sharper. What the hell? What's going to happen to us now? What's going to happen to us now? I'm scared. Poopy sounds. It's definitely. Dude, do you want more balls on your face? It's definitely telling us to look for the perpetrator, and once we find them, then. I, I don't know. Though she doesn't explicitly say what after, it only serves to drive home the weight of the situation. There's a killer among us. Oh shit, are you serious? One of these kind of games? Okay. Oh my god, I don't have a fucking clue which one of these little bastards is the killer. We need to find that person and get rid of them. I hope I get choked again. <laughs> that seems to be what the message seems to be saying. There's a murderer here. Momono, Kamiya, Morizumi, Kageyama, Machi, Machikoji, Togoku, Nikaido. Momono couldn't ever hurt anyone. Kamiya is the honest, upright sort of leader. He wouldn't do something as dirty as killing someone. Morizumi is an absolute stickler for doing what's right. Kageyama is the nicest guy I know and has an incredible sense of empathy. Machikoji would never let people hurt others. Togoku always brightens up everyone's spirits. Oh, your hair's freaking me out. Stop that. Nikaido abhors any sort of violence. I can't imagine any of them to be a murderer. Absolutely. No doubt about it. That sounds like a lot of doubt. I wonder... Maybe, maybe we're just reading into it wrong. But that's what Togoku said, so it has to be right. Still, I can't believe it. I refuse to. What a dumbass. <laughs> maybe someone here's got a hidden side to them. Better not be me. I'm gonna be fucking mad. If that was the case, then maybe it isn't so far-fetched. 
We stopped hanging around each other since around middle school. I can't exactly say that I know what makes them all tick. Why'd you part? Why'd she say that she scare everyone? Oh, because everyone's like far away from her? Yeah. It's so weird because he said yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's no. Togoku seemed to be anxious, based on her expression. So I said no on reflex to ease her mind. Oh. But it was yeah. Huh. Goddamn nose. Hang on. Only thing I hate about this is how am I going to drink and watch time? That's kind of what I also like about it. When you're in this, you're in this. I'm sure even she can tell that they were just empty words. It'd be better if I just tell her what I honestly think. Why don't she have like two multicolored dots on her face? A pink and a green one, or a purple and a green one. Okay, I had to burp, sorry. Well, honestly, everyone's pretty tense right now. But I su- Really? But I suppose we would have all figured it out. Eventually. <laughs> it's better that we know sooner. Yeah, he looks real friendly. Idiot. Yeah, he looks real friendly. I don't trust no one who don't wear no socks. <gasps> uh, I knew you'd say that. No, you didn't. She has a confident look on her face. I recall back in elementary. Whenever Togoku managed to read what I was about to say, she would have the same sort of look on her face as I got flustered. Yeah, I just want to help other people. I hope, I hope you understand that. Like, you, you gotta think, uh... Try to make it, make ten bucks a gig. Then you're making decent money an hour, and you're actually getting a client that gives a shit about you. Because you got to think too, the price is indicative of how much the client thinks you're worth, and how much they also care about you. Because let me tell you, I make. I'm trying to think here. It's hard because fiber takes a fee. That's another thing too. When they're offering, that guy was offering like, that company was offering three dollars. A script, which is absolutely garbage. Um, they basically found a way to go below Fiverr's rates, which is ridiculous. Like, a vo like a voice script isn't worth ten bucks. Really? A kid can afford a ten dollar script, dude. If you're a company, come on. Now I fucking lost my train of thought. Oh, my PFH. I'm basically trying to charge sixty to seventy-five. If I'm making more in books, I'm going to keep doing books. I'm not going to go waste even more time and effort trying to not do books, which makes no sense. It's just, yeah. Set a value, please. Just as I predicted, that sort of self-assured expression, plus everyone that's done that and paid that's been amazing, kind, gives me days off. Nah, dude. The value that they pay also tells you how much they care about you. And I think that's also why there's connections with you and the clients. But I hope people know that. And also you have to understand too, it's dependent that like you can tell based on how they're treating you. But like other countries values for money are different. You always you always have to try to factor that in. But even then, when you're talking massive amounts of work, try to go by what would it equal an hour? That's what I try to do. That's the best thing I could think of that makes sense because otherwise you're just, you're spinning your wheels. I, I've got fucking clients. I have to, I have to tell you the story it still pisses me off. I got a client the other day who gave me nine pages that he wanted a sample. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to read a, a page or so and give it to him. And a fucker wrote me back. He's like, no, I want you to do all nine pages. I'm like, that's not a sample. You need to pay me for over an hour's worth of work, dill hole. I'm not fucking doing that. So now I don't offer free samples anymore. That's a terrible client. He doesn't care about your health, your well-being. They wouldn't work for free. So try, try to be a little more methodical about what you do. Trust me, you'll be happier. You're not wasting your time and spinning your wheels because that guy... Nah, if they're serious, dude, they're serious. They don't, they don't play these games. 
when they want your voice and they want your skills, you know. It's much easier that way. It's like our conversation was just some sort of experiment to prove her hypothesis. It's so weird that this is like... Okay, people blink. What? There's only he blink. Okay, she blinked. What? Some of them don't blink. God damn, this game is weird. I don't quite like how she has this in the palm of her hand. Back then, and now. Get man! If you're... It's also hard to, like, know when to stop because you don't see mouths moving, so shut up. If you already knew what I was going to say, then there's no point in asking me then. Is there, bitch? That's not it. Regardless of any... Why would you pause so long? That's weird. Regardless of any prediction, even if there is a 100% chance... Of it ha I don't remember where she paused. <laughs> of it happening. There's still meaning in trying it out. How come? The chances are already 100%. God damn, what's in my eye? Really? It's because I got a fucking VR mask. Will you bitch? Hang on. Basically, it's like rolling a die that has a one on every side. There's nothing to be gained. Okay. There's no point in that. <laughs> I can't get over how many balls on your face. Au contraire. Au contraire, on the contrary. What's in your head is just that. In your head. It could still change when you attempt it. How? The chances are already 100%, right? Still, there is meaning in trying. But the change isn't from the other party, but yourself. Yourself? Even if... Hang on. I've been up all day, dude. I'm sorry. Even if I know what you're going to say to me, when you actually say it to me, it warms my heart up. What? So, so she's got one colored nail. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, thanks. Huh? Awfully long prelude to a simple thank you. At the same time, her expression... Oh, at the same time. Her expression also feels a little off to me. Unlike her usual capricious demeanor, she looks timid, almost frail. Bef the fuck? Oh, yeah, I'm downloading stuff. Before I'm able to mull it over any further, I sense that something's going on with the rest of the group. Who the fuck was talking? Oh, I'm me. I'm me. I thought that was me, and I didn't realize that was a girl. God damn it, I was like looking over there, waiting for that one's mouth to stop moving. I for- I- Fucking VR is so weird. <laughs> Shut up. I haven't played VR in a while, okay? Hey everyone, aren't you all a little hungry? Huh? Huh? What? The hell's going on? Oh, let's go rob a store. Uh, one of the fucking tiniest stores I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck? Okay, the details here are absolutely like really. It's weird. Over there has words. What the fuck is this? That's like PlayStation Two. It's like it's, well, I guess they don't expect you to turn around. Every now and then I fall apart. It's a lot of ramen. Holy crap. What is this? Okay. 
It's not... Oh, I'm not the slightest bit hungry. Honestly, it feels like my stomach's hard as a rock. Because I'm all nerves right now. God damn, she... Look at her chicken legs, dude. I'd probably end up tossing out whatever I eat. I thought he was looking at condoms. I was like, what? <laughs> I thought he was looking at condoms. Dokamia. Dokamia. Kamia? Yeah, do, no, that's Kamina. And it's in, there's no N. Kamia. Though Kamiya is trying to play it cool, he can't possibly have any appetite in a situation like this. No. He can be sort of a super... What? No. He can be sort of superhuman in some ways. He really might be hungry despite all this. Kamiya likely proposed eating together to help dispel the air of uncertainty around us. Like, where the fuck did they even get the baskets from? Whatever. God damn it. If that's the case, then there's no reason to object. We all split up to look for food, as well as to look around the area. Under Kamiya's precise directions. Machikoji, Togoku, and I head to a nearby convenience store. Meanwhile, Kamiya and Morozumi are staying at the scramble. Seems like there's something they seems like there's something they need to set up. Eat all you can and convenience stuff food? I've always wanted to try this at least once. What? And then there's me, who hasn't even touched a single item yet. Oh what a pussy. I don't know, it just feels kind of wrong to just take this stuff. <sighs> How am I supposed to get into this character, Giggity? How? Um, I don't know. It feels kind of wrong to just take this stuff. <gasps> I can't do it. I can't fucking do it. I, I, I am a fan of Winona Ryder. God damn it. <laughs> it's not an excuse. I've, I've stolen before. I'm not proud of it. God damn it. Whatever. When you're poor and starving, tell me you wouldn't do the same. What else can we do? Desperate times. Besides, even if we don't eat, it'll go bad eventually. Just pretend you're eating it before it expires and goes to waste. Says the person who... Couldn't possibly eat much. <clears throat> <clears throat> Whatever. I mean, sure, but still doesn't feel right. Why is this huge move? Why the fuck am I wearing these controllers like an asshole? God damn it. Then why not just list down all the stuff that you bought and pay it back later? Fuck you. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Oh my god, this character's unrelatable. Who the fuck would do this? Put your hand down. Who the fuck put it down? Who would do this? We're all trapped here with pretty much nothing but the clothes on our backs. I don't have any fucking body, but whatever. No money and nothing to make notes with. We're in a convenience store, you... The smallest fucking convenience store I've ever seen. What? I thought her, I thought she lost an arm. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Okay. <laughs> fucking she just appears like I was like, where the fuck's her arm? <laughs> Nothing, just that you're so uptight. Really? Coming from you? Okay, she's got a little bit of meat on those legs. Really? I think. Isn't everyone like this? What? Oh, shut up. Well, not for Machikoji-kun, at the very least. I'm amazed at the two of you. I still can't calm myself down. It's only because everyone... What? It's a weird pause. 
that the old gang's here, that I'm somehow managing. Well, I can sort of understand. How the fuck did you even bring that in here? You weren't even holding that earlier, what? Um, really? I'd always thought that Togoku was the most distant from our circle. I remember she won some sort of physics prize back in middle school, though I forgot the name. Since then, she went full on into physics and fell out of communication with us. Togoku's the sort of person who would get along just fine on her own. It's not as if she tries to isolate herself or avoid us either. She's just as amicable. Despite talking, yeah, despite talking with her again after over a year, I suppose she's the sort of person who isn't as concerned with the particulars of human relations. If it was just me, I wouldn't be analyzing the situation in such detail either. But you'd be able to make a lot more progress if it were just you, right? Of course not, I may not look like it, but I can be pretty lonesome too. I don't know why guys are that stupid. They think because women are pretty they don't get lonely. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, they get lonely. For some reason, actually, believe it or not, the prettier they are, the probably probably lonelier they, they get because people stare at them all the time but don't talk to them you know what I mean it's kind of a weird balance like a weird imbalance really but like the prettier they are guys are scared of them it's so they're like oh! which is probably why Gwen Stefani wrote that I'm just a girl song also like goddamn the background like looks terrible over here they don't even look like they're in the background they literally look like they're just painted on the wall I can kind of see it. Yeah, they're trying to look, make it look like they were fronted, which is the term where you pull all the products forward. That's what they're trying to go for, but it looks more to me like someone just painted them on the wall. This is weird. I don't know why they wanted to make this in VR. I, I guess let's play it and find out. There's a ton of other stuff I want to eat, so let's come back here later, okay? <laughs> Really? He's actually super stoked about this. Like he's saving stuff. Like it matters. This is easily three days worth of food. The fuck's he looking at? This is actually pretty nice and chill. The weather? We're inside. What the hell's he talking about? That too, but I mean the convenience stores here have either the cooling or the heating on full blast. You're an idiot. You normally can't stay in for too long, but this time, the aircon's not on. That's what, that's what he said, but she, I usually just say air conditioner, but these kids are fucking stupid. I don't know why they shorten every fucking word. I'm like... What if Snoop Dogg in this generation had a conversation? <laughs> oh my god, shut up. I like watching people who've never... Hang on. 